Yeah. Sorry, I was in the zone. Just drying these off. Then we can get to the fun stuff. Not that playing with fire isn't fun. Thank you. Um, in the past week, I've probably made like 20 of these Texas ones. And then a whole bunch of these little penny ones. People really like these. So I've been making a bunch of those. And then I was like, heck, I'll, I'll add these Texas quarter ones. And they're doing pretty well. I think so too, man. It's been pretty good. Um, my washer flooded my kitchen, so that's been interesting. Um, but we kind of got that that handled and uh, now I'm I'm working on some orders here and any day I get to work on coins it's a good day for me it's fun I 
Okay, I actually started the day making some coin rings. I got them finished. Look at this one. This one's a size 13. It's huge. That's a big boy right there. Get you real nice close up here as a fold these. Y'all pay attention now, this is cool stuff. Bam. Did you see that? Did you see that? No, it's a hat. Do, 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 do. Totally my favorite part. It's like really satisfying to, to feel it fold on the press. I know I can't show Sure you guys what I mean, but it really is just this motion right here. Super satisfying. Hey man, I'm getting there slowly. Um, I wouldn't say so. I think half dollars, like 64 is the year you want to look for. Anything before 64, that's where the silver's at. Uh -uh. Yeah, you can buy a tiny hat. You can go to coinringmaker.com. It's, it's my username. So just type that in and then, um, Tap the uh, the Etsy button, should be right at the top of the page, and that'll take you to my store. And you should be able to get a hat, a ring, keychain. There's all kinds of cool stuff there. So we got these Texas quarter cowboy hats out of the way. I can't do a dollar. I can go up to a half dollar. Dollars are just too thick to bend and dome like this. Uh, you can't really play with them too much. They're just too thick of coins. All right, let's move on to pennies. Get my little jig on here. I almost lost this. That would have been pretty bad because it's tiny and once it hits the ground, it is hard to track down, but I found it. So now I can keep on trucking. Can get a penny in here, here's a penny. Line it up real nice. 
put our guide on top. Pop that little ball bearing in there. Squish it. And now we have a coin with a pimple. Isn't that nice? Number two. Number three. I'm growing pretty quickly. Like, I really don't mind being under a million. I just I just hit 10,000, like, last week, and I'm already at 15K. So with growth like that, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. I got on the creator fund. Like, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my position on TikTok. I don't mind being a small fish. I'd much rather have, you know, like a thousand followers that are just interested in what I'm doing than a million followers that, you know, don't care about what I'm doing. I think that's where it's at. I think it's quality, not quantity. Well, I tell you what, man, uh, posting like five really short videos that are kind of interesting and then going live like is kind of wild because tiktok will show those new videos to people and then they'll be like oh he's live right now go watch him and a lot of people go from the live to following me and it's it's worked out pretty well like i really haven't gone live that much until like the last three days and it's just it's really blown up quite well it's worked quite well highly recommend it getting to that thousand follower point was pretty tricky though now my favorite part we actually get to fold them into little cowboy hats That's nice. I dropped it. Well, if y'all have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. You know, I'm just, I'm just working through the motions, just getting work done. Dude. If you aren't reposting your TikToks on YouTube to hack shorts, you should start. That's grown my YouTube channel more than anything else. And, like, I know it's tacky. And, like, I don't want the first video people to see of me on YouTube to be, like, a short, stupid video. But it works. Um, the tools are on my recommended tool list. Just go to cornringmaker.com. Again, that's my username. Just go to this website right here, and there'll be a button at the top that says recommended tools. 
and I've got videos, uh, I've got links, uh, you could, you, you can really find anything you need to get started from like super basic coin rings to some more advanced tools. Do, do, do. I haven't got to add uh, these tools on there yet. I've been so busy making cowboy hats, I haven't got to write about them. But eventually I should add that to the recommended tool list. But there's a lot of a lot of good tools on there. And like I like I said I have videos showing you how to use them and links on where you can get them. There we go. So now we, I haven't shown this part to anybody yet, but I'm going to show it to you guys. So let me get set up and I'll show you what's up. A little secret behind the scenes secret sauce here. So, so far we've got these Texas quarter coin rings, or not coin rings, cowboy hats, and then we've got these penny ones. But right on this. But since we annealed them, it's it's kind of made them dull, and I don't like that. I want them to be shiny. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give myself some steel wool. This stuff right here. And if you guys get one of these, get yourself some like zero grade steel wool. And this will shine up pretty much anything you buy from me. So let's really look at how dull this is. Okay, get a good look at it as I drop it. See how it's like kind of red, coppery, not very shiny? We're going to fix that. And this really isn't hard to do. It just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, and just a little bit of rubbing. Just rub it on here, roll it around, make sure you get all the edges. Pretty good, right? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Does that look better? Kevin, remember when you came to Buena Vista to a house to meet me? And Buena Vista in between border and whatever? Bridge. I was like staying over at Amy's on Ash Street on Buena Vista. We well, met a man named Bo. Selfish? How's it? China, they don't know how high they are. They just keep going and keep going. They're trying to have a good time.